Well, as we creep closer and closer to basketball season, today we analyze the Great Falls High girls basketball team who have a tough climb in the double A right out of the gate. Finding team success during a rebuilding period takes time, as the Great Falls High girls basketball team is finding out. It's going into the third season since the Lady Bison made a title game appearance back in 2016. Last year was a learning year for a young Great Falls High squad, but the good news is the team only graduated two seniors. Having a majority of the team back will help as the season approaches. I think moving forward, um, we have a lot of, I mean last year we had big shoes to fill, and then this year I think it's nice to have familiar faces and that like there's a lot more team chemistry coming back and I think that's going to be a really good like stepping stone for this season. I think it's good because I think they have experience now. Um, they kind of know what to expect. A lot of our young kids kind of know what to expect now and they've gotten better, you know, from from last year to this year. At least that's what it looks like to me. So I think that's that's big for us. Hopefully we can capitalize on that. The Bison's toughness will be put to the test right out of the gate. The team doesn't have a home game until January, with the first four games being on the road. The Bison head to Kalispell for the first two, followed by trips to Missoula Sentinel and Helena High, both schools that were in the AA title game last year. The biggest thing is definitely energy, like coming off the bus, especially when we go up to Kalispell. Like that's a long trip, like everyone knows that trip sucks, but I think if we like come with energy off the bus and like really fire it up in warm ups and focus, we should be okay. On the road games can be difficult because you're just on the bus for hours and then you're just not usually in the headspace you are at home. So I think just focusing, I think mental toughness is going to be a huge thing for us. But Great Falls High can only control what they can control and that starts with improving the team's tempo on the hardwood. I think we definitely need to be more like aggressive shooting and attacking the basket because last year we were kind of lackadaisical with it. I think if we work together and really work on attacking and working with our offense, I think we should be just fine. The Bison season will begin at Flathead on Friday, December 7th.